Hi everybody, I'm the Math Panda and welcome to my Math Panda channel. Um, this is basically so I can review for myself for anybody else who wants to watch. Thanks you guys for actually viewing this. Uh, I'm using the Intermediate Algebra for Students book by Angel Rund or Rundy, however you want to pronounce it. And um, this semester we're starting out in section 5.4, which is factoring a monomial from a polynomial and factor by grouping. So I'm going to assume that you guys already know uh, how to do everything up to this point. If not, please feel free to ask questions and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, so I'm going to start out in the exercise set of 5.4. I'm going down to problem number 9, which is factoring out the greatest common factor. So problem 9 says that it is 7n plus 14. So basically what we want to look at here is whatever the greatest common factor is, and we want to pull that, pull that out. Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> All right, so... Really easy to look at here. Since there's no variable after the 14, we can only look at the numbers that are in front, the coefficients. So, largest coefficient that goes into both of those is 7. We go ahead and we pull out a 7. So then inside the parentheses, we need to put the n. That drops down because the 7 gets taken out. We take 7 out of the 14. Whatever we have to multiply by 7 to get 14 is what we put in here. And it stays positive, obviously, because... The 7 on the outside is positive, so we get a 2. Really super easy, really super basic, and really super simple, and you wouldn't believe how often anybody and everybody forgets it after a period of time. So, this would be your final answer, because you can't go any simpler than this, and if you were to distribute back out, you would get the 7n plus 14. All right, moving on. If my board doesn't fall over on me, no. Uh, forgive the technical difficulty there. I'm sorry. That was my bad. All right. So on to another one. I'm going to go down here to problem number 15. It's a little bit more complicated. We've got three terms instead of two. And it is 9x to the fourth minus 3x to the third, and then we've got plus 11x to the second. So for this one, obviously, especially because of that 11, it throws us off. There are no coefficients at all that we can take out here. The only one we could take out is number one, you know, the one. It's not really that important, especially not in math. Not really. It's kind of fake. It's fake there, at least. So, what we look at next are the var or the variables. They're all x. They're all the same. That's awesome. They're all just raised to a different power. Easiest way to remember when you're taking out a variable as your greatest common factor is look for the smallest power that it's raised to. In this case, it happens to be the x squared. Really super easy. We just take out the x squared. That goes right here on the outside. Inside the parentheses, we've got 9x to the second, because if you remember, if you're multiplying um, powers, it's more like you're adding them instead of actually multiplying them, so that makes it much, much easier. Hopefully you guys should remember that from uh, introductory algebra, not intermediate. That's more of a review for us. So, because this x squared is still positive, we still end up with a negative 3x, and then we keep the positive 11. All right, and that is your simplified answer. It's all completely done. We can't go any further, at least as of 5.4, we can't go any further, but if you know 5.5, you know you can. So anyway, moving on. So now we're going to go on to, actually, you know what? Let's do number 35. That one will be fun. It's got a negative in front of the first one. So, well, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and do 35. It is a negative a to the fourth b to 
to the second, c to the first. And then we've got plus 5, a to the third, b, and then c to the second, plus a3, a, oh, okay, good, I'm not running off. I was worried I was squared b. All right, so looking at this, this is negative 1, technically. Dead man's one. Whatever. Because <laughs> mathematicians are lazy, and we all know that. So, obviously it can't be any numbers because this is, you know, it's a one. Negative one if you want to get technical. Please don't ever say that as a subtract one, because that's not right. <laughs> ah, anyway, so we go ahead and we look at the variables. We've got an a to the fourth, an a to the third, and an a squared. So that's really super easy. It's going to be an a squared is what we take out. So going on to the b's, we've got a b squared, a b to the first, and another b to the first. So that automatically tells us we're taking out one b. We've got a c to the first, a c to the second, and then, oh crap, no, I'm sorry. I totally failed at this one. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're just, we're not taking out a C at all. Nah, it's just A squared B. Ah, but because we have this negative here in the front here, we have to take that down here, which automatically means that those two signs are going to get switched to negatives. And this one right here is going to be a positive. Not too big of a diff, not too big, whatever. Not a big deal. So what comes down here is we subtract 2 from the exponent portion, and we have an a squared b c minus. We want to make sure that we are flipping the signs because of this guy right here. We want to make sure that we're doing that. 5a c, because there was only one, one power here, one power here. And then minus, got to make sure we do that again, 3, and the 3 is all by him's lonesome, because that's what we took out right here. And once again, you can't go any further as of 5.4. So, moving on to one more problem. And this one is going to be the grouping, the factoring by grouping. Really super simple on the next page here. And it is going to be, uh, sorry, we'll do 48. 48 looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with 48. So 48 in section 5.4 says that it is 18 and to the second. That two looks kind of retarded, but oh well plus 30m plus 9m plus 15. Please, you guys, avoid the desire to add those two together. You'll just have to take them back apart in the end. Because in this instance, what we want to do is we want to put fake parentheses around these guys, which my old math teacher from last semester called those guys pretentheses. Sorry if you guys are having a hard time reading that. I thought it was hilarious and I love it and I want to keep it. So, because if you were to put real parentheses around there, you would just completely screwing everything up and you wouldn't get a right answer at all and it would just make life harder on you. So now what we want to do is we're looking at these guys as two binomials. Or, yeah, they're two binomials because binomials means two terms. And we've got two terms in each parenthesis. So the greatest common factor out of 18m squared plus 30m is 6m. 
So we go ahead, we pull the 6m out, and then inside the parentheses is going to be 3m plus 5. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at this guy right here. We need What we need to do is we need to pull that plus sign out because we want to make sure that that gets carried out in the end of the problem. And a 3 is the greatest common factor of this one. So we pull out a 3. And so what we need to do is we need to divide the 3 into both the 9 and the 15. We get a 3m plus 5. Now the reason why we know that we got that right is because this term right here and that term right there are exactly the same. That's what we want. If you ever have any doubts at all whenever you guys are factoring by grouping, if you get the first one down, automatically plug it into this one and divide it into, like if you divide the 3m into the 9m, what do you get? You get a 3 because the m's cancel out and then you just find the difference of those two guys divided, whatever, whatever you guys want to call it, whatever. <laughs> whatever you need for those guys, you know, this number and that number to multi, yeah, I'm sure you guys got it. So we're not entirely done yet though. We still have one more step to do. So we bring down the 6m and then the plus three. That's the first part of the binomial that will be our answer. These two, they're exactly the same. They're just to emphasize the fact that that binomial needs to be multiplied by that binomial. It is not a squared. This term is not squared at all. Please don't ever do it. You will cause yourself issues. So this bin these two, this binomial, because we've got one term here, one term there, good to go. All right? I'm going to end the video here, so if you guys have any questions at all, for any reason, please feel free to comment, ask me yourself, I will get back to you as soon as I can. I am strictly a full-time student, I don't really have much else to do with my life except for homework. Um, my boyfriend too, but it's okay, he's over here enough that I can check everything while he's here. <sighs> anyway, I hope you guys learned something from me. I really do, and I hope to make more of these videos in the future, mostly for my own reference, but if I help anyone in the process, that is a huge bonus for me too. See you guys later!